wants a person is pointing to Karl, he is a person. And all these facts can now be used for processing. Now let's assemble a list of milestones for our project. And for this, I'm going back to the project and I'm querying now the system for all milestones for this particular project and for that I'm opening, I'm opening the article about the project, go into the rich text editor and click on the, this icon which opens the query interface the query interface loads and now I can easily assemble my query so I want to ask for all milestones and their due dates and get this displayed so therefore I'm asking the system give me all milestones you know about and you see here in the result preview a list of all the milestones we have and now I will filter for all the milestones which are for our project and I check here that the value of the property milestone for project is equal to the name of the project clicking add now you see that the list of milestones gets a bit shorter and now I'm asking for the values of the milestones I'm picking milestone has value tick here to show it in the results and I edit and here now you have the list of the milestones for the particular project with their values and if I want to I can select another way to print this information out namely let's take a Google Pi and that's fine and this um, tells me that the first milestone is apparently the most expensive milestone for our customer and this is quite valuable, valuable information and I'm saving it and embedding this query into the project's article. Here I can type in some ex explanatory text Let's save the article and see what all the other users of that wiki will then see. Okay, so this is again the article about our project and here you see the query and are printed as a Google Pi and this gives quite a good overview but probably um, you want to show a table with a bit more information for each milestone and then I'm opening the query interface again after typing in this text I go to the query interface loads, I add the category milestone, I want to see, I want to reduce the list of milestones for all the milestones for our project.
and I'm returning the responsible persons. And what else could I print out? Mm, let's say the due date. Showing results. Okay. Now I embed this table and I'm saving the article. Okay, so we have now exploited the data which we have semantically tagged for a milestone in uh, two ways. First, we have used it to um, uh, print it out as a uh, Google Pie chart and secondly we have used it to print it out as a table and each user can access this table of course and can use it for um, browsing the individual milestones you can um, sort this table and the best of this table is that it's always kept update, updated with uh, the data so if in one milestone the due date changes, then this data here will be changed and kept updated as well. Now let's inspect the knowledge base which we have built here by doing the uh, semantic tags. Um, we use the uh, ontology browser and this gives us instantaneous access to the so-called ontology. Here we can browse for all the categories in this wiki. Yeah, and in the list of categories there is somewhere our category milestone. Let's filter for it. Okay, here it is. And if you click on it, you get the instances of that milestone category displayed here. You can rename the instances, delete them, um, or uh, you can inspect um, the properties which are assigned to them. Here we have got all the properties, and if you're interested in um, the data, for let's say our final milestone which we have entered here then just click on the instance and you see the actual values of it, the name, the value, um, the assigned project and the due date etc etc. So this was the demo. So before coming to the end of our webinar let me briefly briefly tell you about um, the key features of SMW+. What you should know is that installation of SMW+, is fairly easy. We provide you with a graphical installation tool, which allows quick deployment on XP servers and desktop machines. Um, SMW+, includes everything you need for immediately starting it. You get a data model and a web-based GUI for immediate access for your team from anywhere. And what you should also know is that um, SMW Plus comes with full content management system functionality. It provides a rich text editor. You can upload and maintain media in it. And it has forms for easy data entry. It has a um, easy tagging system for doing semantic annotations. This is what I've demonstrated today. And for exploiting the semantic annotations, you will be provided with a graphical query builder to easily generate automatic um, tables and lists and diagrams from such semantic tags. And also it has easy to use tools for changing the data model on the fly, um, like the ontology browser, which you've shown, uh, uh, shown today. For um, embedding, SMW Plus with uh, the outside world, we provide you with an MS Excel bridge where you can include data um, which is sitting in an installation 
easily into uh, MS Excel worksheet, uh, worksheets. You can uh, display and reuse data which is provided from external web services. You can um, uh, use our data import framework for importing, um, bulk importing of data in our legacy system. And finally, SMW Plus attaches to a reasoning system which is provided by Enterprise. We, it comes in two flavors, uh, a basic reasoning engine which is for free and a professional reasoning engine which is called Enterbroker. How can you benefit from SMW Plus? If you are already using MediaWiki or SMW, just upgrade to SMW Plus by downloading the Halo extension for free from SourceForge. Um, if you want to see how SMW Plus works and feels like, then go to our demo station, which is on the web. And if you have decided to deploy SMW Plus for your team, then go to our shop and purchase your personal copy for short money. Apart from that, Enterprise offers standard support contracts, consulting, and data migration and custom programming services for you. Just drop us an email. Here you see all the resources we have on the web. Um, my special focus goes to the user forum, um, which is on smwforum.enterprise.com. Just go there and see how others are using uh, the software and find user manuals, etc. So thank you very much for your attention. I'm looking forward to see you next week where we are demonstrating how to reuse um, external data by using um, our web services in SMW+. So goodbye.